Once again, a very good morning to you all. As a sportsman, though I have been invited as a chief guest, but the actual chief guests are all these kids whom we have come here for and we are looking at them. And I'm sure there's a two-way communication going with the parent and the respective kid rather than looking at me. They are the stars of today. Dear parents, as a sportsman, though I have taken this as one of the professions, at the same time I would like to, as a parent of very two teenage boys, I think we should have two options in mind for our kids as well. Number one is definitely the academics, which is very important, very, of very prime importance in this day and age. Yes, they must study, they must specialize, have good degrees, but at the same time, you can always give them a second option. It could be sports, it could be any other, maybe drama, acting, singing, dancing, etc. Because you need to have your child with two skills. One is the talent that he has in him, him or her. You must be able to identify at this very tender age. And the other is done by the school, they educate them. They give them the right education, the culture, from where they belong. So when they grow up, I mean, there is no confusion in what the child wants to opt for. Whether he wants to specialize on what he is good at, whether he wants to pursue his academic career, whatever degrees he has acclaimed, he or she wants to take up that as a career. So, this is very important. As far as I'm concerned, yes, I will give importance to sports, but then that's everybody's choice. Because sports definitely on the field gives you the spirit of competition. Sports matures the kids to make decisions. They win, they lose, they know how to take it in a manner where they never get hurt and then they keep going forward because sports is not always winning, sometimes losing as well. At that point of time, I mean, you should not lose heart. I mean, one has to be a self-starter, a self-motivator and that's what sports teaches one. Because though I have uh, been a national champion four times. Not that I have won all my matches. I have lost many. I started as a kid when I was in the fifth standard. Till then, I had I was a disaster in my sport. Always getting beaten. My father told me, "Now stop competitions. Improve your skills." Then my first major championship was the first university, the Intercollegiate Judo Tournament. By then I was prepared. My father then told me, yes, now you are ready for the competition. You weren't ready earlier. Now you start. And that's where the turning point came. And I started winning medals for the city, for the state and in the country. However, I could not get into international championships because uh, the Indian Federation was not affiliated to the International Federation. But then I transited from being a player to a coach and an administrator to an international referee. I've been all over the world as a referee, as a jury member. It taught me a lot about sports, about cultures from the different continents. And that experience I put forth in India by making Indian tournaments at par with the international tournaments. Like what we see here at this time, sports has become very professional in schools as well. 
in my days, the late 70s, it wasn't like this. You could see the kids all over the ground, but now it's different. It's been recorded. There's punctuality of time. That's very good. And the kids are taken care of. And uh, we are going as per this time schedule. So not taking much uh, of your time, I would like to see that the show begins. Thank you very much and God bless.